Assalamu alaikum marhaban ahla wa sahlan welcome again to this episode of our dorus al lughat al arabiya li ghayri natiqin biha ma hadha what is this hadha baytun this is a house we have learned a lot from the previous episodes and today congratulations we are moving to the very second lesson in this book may allah consolidate our learning today we are beginning with the second lesson ad-darusu thani ad-darusu athani the second lesson of the first volume i hope you have your book with you may allah make it easy for you and me now in the previous episodes we dealt with hadha which we said is a demonstrative pronoun and we have mentioned that we have two types of demonstrative pronouns we said the demonstrative pronoun is also termed as a pointing pronoun a pronoun used in pointing to something like we're saying these these or that and we said we had two types of pronouns the first being a proximal pronoun a proximal pronoun is a type of pronoun used when talking about something that is close to the speaker and also the listener now we we, we had finished that which was hada now today we are moving to dhalika 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 is simply that dhalika that dhalika that t h a t now we can see is one minute <laughs> Okay, mashallah, welcome back. Now, dhalika simply means that, T-H-A-T. And dhalika is the second type of demonstrative pronoun. We had finished proximal pro demonstrative pronoun. Now we are moving to distal demonstrative pronoun. This type of demonstrative pronoun is used when talking about something that is far up or that is further from the speaker and also the listener so we have dhalika meaning that when you say hadha this something that is very close hadha this but dhalika dhalika that dhalika that this is going to be very easy for you if you had actually followed the previous episodes because we are going to be seeing similar examples as to what we have learned especially of the words May Allah is your friends. So let's move on. We can see from the first image, this image is familiar. You already used to this image. What is that? Masha Allah, Najmun. Masha Allah, Najmun. So the, yes, we can see the question is, Madhalika. Now in the past, we used to have, Madhalika. What is this? What we have now is, Madhalika. So, Dhalika, that. Ma dhalika, what is that? Ma dhalika, what is that? MashaAllah. Eh? Dhalika najmun. Dhalika najmun. That is a star. Dhalika najmun. That is a star. Now, under this, the, this image, we have two other images. And this is the image of a mosque the one that is closer then the further image yes is the image of a house so let's see what we have on the right hand side of these two images the first is hadha masjidun hadha masjidun meaning this is a mosque hadha masjidun this is a mosque under it we have wa what is wa again Good. Wa and a n d. Wa and wa dalika and that. Wa dalika and that. Baytun a house. Wa dalika baytun and that is a house. These two images I used to explain both the yes proxima demonstrative pronoun and also the distal demonstrative pronoun may Allah grant us understanding so we have 
hadha masjidun to the image that is closer to both the speaker and also the listener so we have hadha masjidun this is a mosque wadhalika and that that's there wadhalika baytun and that is a house masha allah under these two images we also have two other images that are similar the first image yes the image of a horse and what is horse in the arabic language from the previous vocabulary good horse hisanun and the further image we have good of you donkey and donkey simply means himarun so we have at the right hand side to these two images hadha hisanun wa dhalika himarun again hadha hisanun wa dhalika himarun masha allah this is a horse and that is a donkey very simple just the difference between hadha and dhalika hadha this dhalika that hadha hisanun wa dhalika Himarun. This is a horse and that is a donkey. Masha Allah. Let's move on to the fall to the next image. That is the image of goods, a cat. Now the question is Azalika Kalbun. Azalika Kalbun. Now we had studied the particle a. On the article a ah, a ah, a ah, a ah, a ah, what we said ham alif hamza fatha a ah. and we say it means is when asking to confirm is this a the a ha we thought a hadha is this now we have a dhalika very simple just change the hadha to dhalika a dhalika is that so the question is a dhalika kalbun is that a dog it is father adhalika kalbun is that a dog and the answer la no dhalika kitun la no dhalika that kitun a cat kitun cat kitun cat masha allah you can see this page is very easy for us because we had studied very well the previous pages May Allah consolidate our learning. Now let's move on to the very last image on this page. And that is the image of a bed. When we sleep, bed. So and bed is what? No. Good. Sarirun. Bed. Sarirun. So the question is, Madhalika. Madhalika. Because the bird is not closer to you, so you are seeing it from a far distance, and you are saying Madhalika using the distal demonstrative pronoun. Now, since the bird is far from you, you will not say Mahadha because it is not close. So you are going to say Madhalika. What is that? Come, 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 come. Madhalika. What is that? And the response will be Dhalika. Sarirun, that is a bed. Dhalika Sarirun, that is a bed where we sleep. Masha Allah. You can see from this page, we also we are just repeating the same words that we have learned in the previous episode. So if you have not watched the previous episode, go to these two videos and watch them right away so you can follow us more. May Allah is your friends. Now let's switch to the next. Page, come with me. Masha Allah. Now, from this page, we can see there are two images at the top. And these two images depict the first one. Good, 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 good. Yes, someone in front of the board. Perhaps, yes, he's writing. And we had seen this image in the previous pages. So, this is the image of a teacher. Good. And his students sitting behind him listening to him just as you are doing. May Allah reward all of us. Now the father image is the image of who? Look at it. An imam leading the prayer and the mamumun, the congregation standing behind him. Masha Allah. So let's see what we have here. Now remember, 
we have also taught something. What is that? Good. Where we taught ma, ma, and man. Man was the last topic. Man, 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 man. Interrogative pronouns. And we said one of the interrogative pronouns, ma and man, is used for, yes, inanimate and also non-humans. While man is used for humans. So let's see the pattern in which these questions are coming. What we have here is, man has a woman, valika. Man has a, who is this man, who? Man has a, who is this? Woman, Zalika. And who is good? Zalika, that. Man, Hada, who is this? Woman, Zalika. And who is that? Masha Allah. Now the answer will be, let me leave you to answer this question by yourself. So how do you answer this? I said, Man, Hada, who is this? Woman, Zalika. Answer, respond. It is very easy. One, two, Three, Masha Allah, Takbir. Now what we have is Hadha Mudarrisun. This is a teacher. Wadalika Imamun. And that is an Imam. Masha Allah. Hadha Mudarrisun. This is a teacher. Wadalika Imamun. And that is an Imam. Good of you. Now let's move on to the next image. This image, that is. Yes, we just have a big image. What image is that? Good. Image of a stone. So what is stone in Arabic language? Let's move. We have the question on the opposite side. Mazalika. Because the stone is farther from the speaker. And also you that, I, that is listening or are listening. So we have Mazalika. Now see the difference. When we have a stone, we are using ma. We did not say man. Because man is used for a human being. And stone, you know. It's not a human being. Good. So what we use is ma mazalika. What is that? Mazalika. What is that? And the response, it will surely start with a distal demonstrative pronoun because the, 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 the stone is a distant from both the speaker and the listener. So you listener, you will respond by saying zalika hajarun. That. Hajarun is a stone. Hajarun stone. Zalika Hajarun. That is a stone. Masha Allah. Now let's move on to the next image. And the image is the image. Can I something like, okay, can I cop? And perhaps, let's move on. Okay, we have Hada Sukarun. Hada Sukarun. What is Sukarun? Sukarun sugar. S U G A R. Sugar. Sukarun sugar. Hada sukkarun. This is a sugar. Wadhalika labanun. And that is a milk. For someone who wants to make good, who wants to drink milk, and is looking for both sugar and milk, you can just direct him and say, Hada, Hada sukkarun. This is a sugar. You can take from this sugar. Wadhalika labanun. And that is the milk. So join them together and Masha Allah. So we have Hada Sukarun. This is a sugar. Wadalika Labanun. And that is the milk. Enjoy yourself. So now we come to the end of this simple topic. Dalika. A demonstrative or a distal demonstrative pronoun. So you now know the difference between Hada and Zalika. So I can simply say. Hada masjidun. Wadalika. Wadalika. Baytun. Good. Hada masjidun. This one is close. Is the mosque. Ha. But that. That. Mm, is the house. Hada baytun. This is a house. And also that is a mosque. Masha Allah. Now we have a very short tamarind. Just to better your understanding. And the tamarind is a crab. What to? What is Ikra? You know that I'm not going to translate this for you from now onward because Ikra, you know Ikra, what to? Should I? Okay, tell me so I can repeat after you. Ikra, what to? What's the meaning? Good. Read and 
Right, so you're going to read this and write it. Make sure you're doing your homework as this will better your understanding. So what we have here is a Quran worktop. I'll quickly read through this so you do it after me, but make sure you write it on your notebook and if possible, submit it on the comment section so we can see our progress. May Allah grant us progress. So now we have Hadha sukkarun wa dhalika labanu. Hadha sukkarun wa dhalika labanu. And we have man dhalika dhalika Imam, and we have Adalika Keton. Is that a cat? La, Adalika Kalbun. No, that is a dog. And we have lastly, Mahada. What is this? Hada Hajarun. This is a stone. Hada Hajarun. This is a stone. Now let's move on to the, this box. This box contains Al Kalimatul Jadida. Kalima. Kalima simply means word. Kalimatun, a word. So we have Al Kalimatul Jadida. Jadidun, new. Jadidatun, new. Al Kalimatul Jadida, new ways, meaning new vocabularies. These vocabularies are to be studied by you. This is what we have learned recently. So you can add them to your archive and to the previous vocabulary that we have learned. So the first is Imamun. And Imamun, Imam. We know Imamun is Imam. Hajarun, stone. Then Sukkarun, sugar. And Labanun, milk. Again, Imamun, Imam. Hajarun, stone. Sukkarun, sugar. And Labanun, milk. Barakallahu fikum. We have learned a lot. Till we meet again. Assalamu alaikum. But before that, make sure you like, share, and use the comment section. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to better our understanding of this very beautiful language till we meet again assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh